Yeah, this your boy Tootie, the Southern President. You're not tuned in to the rap analytics show, you know what I mean? Let's get it. This is the rap analytics show, and I'm putting rap in the figure four. If you ain't on this on the internet, then tell me what else is you looking for? Presidential worthy giving insight. You don't need no keeping shit tight. Either gave you an invite, and Cooley be talking on big mics. You in the right place for your mind. You in the right place for your grind. You in the right place for your music. You in the right place for your time. Cause I ain't never gonna waste mine. And since we got you tuned in, now it's time to start the show. And the real shit begins the end. Yeah. Man, y'all already know what time it is, man. It's your favorite campaign, man. Presidential worthy. Please put that vote in for me. Rap Analytics, man, it's another Friday, man. Got a shout out to Cooley, shout out to Nino, shout out to Ether. You know what I mean? They're in the building with me. Even got my son in here with me today, boy. He's going down. But let's get into it, man. Dope artist right here, man. Dope artist, man. The case is beat. You feel me? That shit's beat, but that's behind us. We ain't worried about that shit no more, bro. Not at all. But let's get into it, man. For the people who don't know who you is, introduce yourself to the folks. Man, I'm Kosh, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Beat the Body, however you want to put it. Okay, come on, man. Know in, the fuck going on. in the music fire, bro. Music fire. Y'all got to tap in, man. Before we get it started, man, let's, 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 let's go back. Let's backtrack, man. Let's, back, let's backtrack to how it all started, man, with you getting into the music thing and all that. Where, where that come from? Uh, The music come from, shit, my uncles. Okay. Shit, they used to be doing music when I was a kid. Okay. Having studios, so shit. I've been around the studio my whole life. Okay, so that music just around you. Yeah, I I ain't start rapping until I was probably like, like taking it serious. Like, I probably was like, I want to say 16, 17. What made you be like, I'm about to take this shit serious? Like, what got you to that point? You said you was around it a lot, but you got 16, you was like, I'm finna start taking this serious. What made you get to that point? I mean, really, like, see, back then, like, it used to be, other people rapping, right. you know what I'm saying? They used to sneak this or whatever. Uh oh. It, it used to be more like, I used to just pop my shit. Right. So like, you're a shit popper? I'm a shit popper. Okay, man. Certified it, shit popper. Okay, why not? Every, you know what everybody mean? know that they gonna pop this shit. Like, Got I to. pop my shit every time. But yeah, that's 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 really like where it comes from. Like, they fueled me, you know what I mean? And I just kept the shit going. You feel right. me? I had a wave behind me. Okay. A lot of people fuck with me like, bro, you got that shit, like, take it serious. Right. So I, t- I started taking it serious, but, you know, with me taking it serious, jail came along and yeah. stopped the whole process. We gonna get into that, though. We gonna get into that. We gonna still backtrack a little bit, though. So where we coming from? We from Atlanta? We, we What we doing? Nah, I'm from Jersey. Jersey? Okay. Like, Atlantic City to be exact. Okay, man. all right. So that's the South stuff. Jersey. So what, what made you transition to Atlanta? Um... I came to Atlanta because back in like 2020, I came here during okay, the pandemic. Drunk, COVID and all that <laughs> shit, yeah. And I was lit. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, oh, well, I'm finna move. I'm finna move here. Like, and then shit, I ain't never left. Just been here ever since. Yeah, I, I just packed my shit up. Just you. In the car, just, just you. Just said, I'm fucking, I'm going to Atlanta and we're going to see how it goes. All right, now I packed my car up with the last couple thousand I had and I just took off at the road. I I've been here since doing my thing. I just gotta ask, man, what is the feeling of that, bro? Just to be able to just say, you know what, fucking, I'm gonna pack my shit up. I'm about to head to Atlanta. I'm just about to see whatever I can do out there. Um, Talk to me about that feeling. That gotta it, be a good feeling. It though. was one of them. It was one of them. It was one of them feelings where it's like, I'm here, mm-hmm. but I'm over in this place and I ain't got nothing. Right. So why not? And and, and if I go to, I'm like, if I go to Atlanta. And I ain't got nothing. It's like, at least I want to be here. Right. You know what I mean? That I'm makes to, sense. I'm about to come here with nothing. It's the same thing in my eyes. At right. least I want to be here, though. I don't want to be you here. You didn't want to be there. You feel me? Is there a reason why you didn't want to be in Jersey? Um, It's a lot of reasons. Like, okay. Um, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, like. Give me two the, off from, the top from, of your head. From, from, from harassment from the police. Mm, feel you. You know, knowing that. 
I, I got a face, I got a name, I'm a high commodity, it's either I'm going to die, mm. go to jail, you know what I'm saying? And that shit ain't what I wanted for myself. You right, know so I you mean? just I said relocate. I wanted to relocate and try to make this shit happen. Right. And, you know. I ain't mad at that, man. So, being, being from Jersey, man, give me a little I know you earlier you said it pretty much the same, but give me a little bit what you feel like different from Jersey and Atlanta, just a little bit. It got to be some difference. Something that you feel the, like. The difference is in Atlanta is like, it's love out here. You'll find some love out, you'll find some love out here. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you'll meet they some really want to see you come up. Yeah, you'll meet some genuine people that actually want to see you win. Like, they enjoy seeing you win. Like, like where I'm from is is crabs in the bucket. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got nobody. We ain't, we ain't even really got no artists from Jersey besides Fetty Wap. Okay. Right. That's that's who everybody knows. It's a couple artists like Albi and etc. But that's who we really got. That's who everybody knows Fetty Wap. Like, so right. Outside of that, what we got? I mean, you know, in man, the battle rap, bro, you got uh, Arsenal. I mean, battle rap. Battle yeah, rap. You got, you got, you got, you got, you got surf. You got surf. Come on, man. You, you got, got surf. surf. Free surf, surf, man. Free the wave. Free, free the wave. Yeah. yeah. Free my boy. You feel me? We got New Jersey twerk. Y'all got the battle rap scene on lock because y'all got a few got twerk over there, too. So Yeah, we, but got, yeah. we got the battle rap shit on Smash. Definitely got the battle rap shit yeah. on Smash. But, like, when I, when I like, but music, in the game, right. I feel you. In the industry. It's like, why we not in the game? Mm. That, that's the question everybody need to ask me. So why, why we not, not in the game? game? Yeah, that makes Good. sense though. Why? But I mean, y'all got as far as music, you know, y'all got the the Jersey on what they call it, the Jersey Club mix. Yeah, and stuff. but that's that's see, that's I'm glad that you brought that up. Come on, talk to I'm me. Glad we're that you, we're glad, here to talk about. I'm it. a real Jersey nigga. I'm glad Come that on. you brought that up. They ain't try to put that on our face. Mm. Like we all out here just jersey club dancing and shit that's, that's not true getting in that's, the hips and shit we not doing that like it's it's like real street shit going on real street niggas right. out here like it's real shit going on like shit the trenches for real like right. you know what i mean like ain't nobody making it right like, feel me a lot like it's really hard to make it out of there you that's true me? man like, you gotta move to make it out of there like that's just what it is like where i'm from like you know what i'm saying so like but that Jersey Club dancing music, that ain't that ain't that ain't, y'all, that ain't our face. They, they, just, they just throwing that shit on y'all. Yeah, they just thought, make they, it sound good. Yeah, they throwing that on us like, and that shit, like, I respect the people that's doing that shit, but it make us look like we soft as hell. Mm. That's some shit, and that ain't the case. Like, you come there, right. you gonna be like, damn. Like, this is not what you thought it was, this bro. This shit is not what you this thought. This shit is not like, sweet out that here. That shit all smoke and mirrors. Like, okay. You know what I mean? Like, definitely, like. All right. So let's let, let's go back to where we was at, right? So you was like, all right, you got into the music, you start feeling that you gonna take this shit serious, boom. Then you get hit with the with the jail situation. What happened? Um, it's not the situation that it's not the murder, but I got right. locked up for something. Else. Right, right. During that time, I was probably like um, eighteen. You know what I mean? I got locked up with two guns, so mm. that stopped my whole momentum. They sat me down for about like three and a half. Had you in there for three and a half? I ain't get out till I was probably like 22. I got out when I was 22. So they hit you like when you yeah, just turned 18. Me, yeah, they sat me down like Damn. you know. I, they you know they you know I've been a menace. Right. Like, they say, you make too much noise out like, here, bro. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> your ass down. They sat me down like you know what I mean. So that like put everything on hold. Right. Put me like. So then when I got out, I had to like. Hold on, before we get out though, right? Right. When we was in there, right? Three and a half years, man. Give me that experience for you. What were you thinking? Like, you like, man, shit, when I get out, I'm about to change up some shit, switch up. What was the mindset for the three years? You ain't got to get into a whole deep thing. Give I us mean, a little bit about that my mindset. mindset. Honestly, like, I'm going to keep start from finish, no, like, but um, when I, when I finally got on that bus to take that ride, it's like, in my mind, I'm like, damn, it's over, like, Feel me? Like, like, I'm here. Right. Like, it's no, ain't nothing you can do it. There's nothing I can do about it. You feel me? And, I just had in my mind like shit. Any nigga play with me in here, I'm going to this shit off the dribble like. And right. I just kept telling myself that the whole ride like getting right. myself amped up like amped up like because I already knew what it was like. You know what I mean? So, but once I get there, I settle down and shit. You know, I I know a few motherfuckers here and shit right. from my you know. But um, I was I used to just sit in my cell and think like, damn, like when I get out, I wanna. I want to I want to go to Miami. I want to do this. Mm. I want to learn how to drive. Okay. I want to I want to you know what I mean? I want right. to really live this shit up. I really want to do this shit like you feel me? I'm going to take this rap shit serious. Like anybody that know me that tell you when I came home, I had bags of bags of raps. Mm. Like trash you bags. Just, just, just hell. 
You feel me? Okay. I go in the yard, spit some shit for the guys. They like, yo, fuck with it, keep going. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I just stayed strong, man. I told myself every day, like one day at a time. Right. And discipline thing, right? Talk to me. When I first got sentenced, mm -hmm. I did some stupid shit. I sat there and added up all the days. Like, that's it came lot, up. It that's came a up. lot of fucking days, <laughs> it nigga. Came, it it's came. 365 in one. The motherfucker came up to like a thousand and son. Shit, like, damn. <laughs> How the fuck I just that's do that? a lot of fucking days. I'm like, nigga. damn, bro. Oh, this how many days I'm going to be here? Like, that shit crazy. So it's like, all right, this is my new home. And I got to make the most of this shit. Bro. Right. You feel me? Like, I learned a lot, though. Jail taught me a lot. Jail taught me how to be a man. Right. You know what I'm saying? How to carry yourself. Because at that moment, like, I went from high school straight to jail. Right. So I was still in that confused stage of trying to figure out who I am, who right. I'm trying to be, where I'm trying to go, and I went straight to jail. So now I'm in here with grown ass men that been here years, and it's like, right. I got to be a man they, now, not right. tomorrow. He's ain't no little ass boy, but these he's a nigga times. Yeah. You feel me? So I got to be a man now. Like, right. So that, was, that, that shit turned me into a man ASAP. Man, man. So that's that's crazy. So I gotta ask this too, though. Like, just just for the people that don't haven't been to jail and everything, like, is that is the mind? Not even the mindset, but is it is jail like how they see it on TV? Cause a lot of people think it's, it's how it's on TV. Folks think you going, you go to jail, people getting fucked in the ass, people getting all kinds of crazy shit. So is it is it what is what they seeing on TV, or is it different? Um, that's just anime. I think. I that. think like I feel like. Back then, maybe the 60s, they was taking niggas ass, but like, I don't think you getting fucked in the ass in jail unless that's some shit that you went to with okay. another nigga that's into some shit like right. that. Like, that shit, it happens in jail, but it don't happen. Like, niggas but ain't it, going You, you gotta be on some other shit for that yeah, shit to happen. Yeah, but niggas, there's some real shit going on, there's though. real shit going on. Like, niggas ain't, niggas ain't doing that shit. That's some back in the day shit, like. Got you. Uh, I, I just had to ask, you know what I mean? Cause I know we Nah, that's 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 a real question that yeah. needs to be spoke upon. Like if that I, shit don't go on in jail. Like, nah, I never I Niggas ain't them. gay in there, like doing gay shit. Like it's gay people in there, like, but they normally like segregate them. Right. So you ain't gonna really be around nobody that's gay as hell. Like, you know what I mean? Right, but you don't wanna still go in there all tough guy up and you can just whoop everybody ass either, right? Nah, that's the wrong mindset to have. Right. You feel me? There's a lot you of niggas in there, but right? Like I tell people all the time, you go in there, mind your business, stand on your tent, stand on whatever it is that you believe in, you're right. going to be okay. You feel me? But the moment you start, one thing, like where I'm from up top, we call it like opening doors. Okay. Like somebody might play with me or do certain shit or try to play with their hands with me. I, hey, bro, look, let's not open that door because I don't right. play them games. We're going to close that door right now. Right. That's what you got to do in jail. Like, don't let people open certain doors with you. Close those doors immediately. Immediately, right. Okay, all right. So, boom. Got in there, came home, got the bags, wraps and everything. What's the move? Um, I come home, I probably had, like, a couple months of parole. It wasn't a lot, like, five, six months of parole. Okay. And, you know, I'm still running wild. Like, I'm still... Like, it's like I never left. I, I was so eager to get to the streets. Right. That all that shit that I was planning in my mind went the fuck out. Of <laughs> so yeah, so soon as I got off that bitch, I hit the hood, see my bros. Yo. That's real was, shit, though. I was back on that same call shit. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. A couple of my bros, they told me, like, cause calm down. Like, we ain't on that, dude. Like, slow that shit down. Like, you feel me? It's get money time. Like, right. get money now. Like, right. we know that you, you get active in that lifestyle, but now it's time for you to get money right you see what i'm saying so let's come up yeah let's come up let's 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 do something like you know what i mean and i took heed to it but at the same time i was still on my shit like, right you know what i mean like it be hard when you young and you, you get back out and you lost you lost your brothers while you was in jail you right this that that it's like nah you know what i mean yeah. like hell no nah. right you know what i mean that was a lot That's of my mind same bullshit. but then um I finally caught, I ended up catching myself. Like, I remember that day. I remember that day vividly. Like, Talk to me. I caught myself like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? Right. Like, literally, I was high. I'm saying, I'm like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? Like, I was really talking to myself like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? Like, this ain't none of the shit you said you was going to do, bro. You going the wrong way with this shit. Right. You feel me? And I'm like, I got to come up with a plan. I got to tighten, tighten my situation up. You know what I'm saying? So 
that's what I started to do. I started tightening myself up, you feel me? And a lot of things transpired, and it was like, you know what? When they let me off this parole shit, I'm gone. Mm. You feel me? So this happened while you was on parole. Yeah, everything was going down while I was on parole, and then they find I finally ended up getting off of that shit by the grace of God. Come on. You feel me? And um, I didn't tell nobody. I just jumped on a flight, and I moved to South Carolina at this time. Okay, so you just, boom. Yeah, I jumped out of on, Jersey to South Carolina. I dipped on the ass. <laughs> you feel me? My homies hit me up the next day like, yo, come, come pop out. Like, hey, I'm gone. <laughs> I ain't even in the States no you know more. Me? And that's, that's how I tell people, like, when you want to do some shit like that, you just do it. Right. You just move. Go with your move because you don't want to tell people, like, oh, I'm about to move. I'm about to do this. Man, I'm about to do this. Hold on, bro. We got oh, that. Bro, yeah. Let's do this. Come on. I got a couple paid for us. Yeah. You now, now, now you kind yourself stuck now in with you. Back. Now yeah. You stuck like, nah. Because that shit ain't going to stop. You've been on complete a couple of those. I, just, I didn't want nobody to convince me to stay. There you go. You feel me? I didn't want nobody to convince me to stay. I knew I had the, if I want to win, if I want to be the one laughing at the end, like I'm right. the game, I yeah. beat the street. It's time to go. It's time to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that was that was my big thing. Like, I, in my mind, I always I'm always playing chess. Like, I come from the streets. I'm a street nigga. I still got that base car as a street nigga. So, right. I, every day I'm trying to beat the streets. Right. My movement is to beat the streets. Rule number one: Everybody know, make it back home. You know what I'm come on, so, that's the goal. Every that's time. What I, that's that's what I live by. So, all right, so we packed up, went to South Carolina, mm-hmm. right? What happened in South Carolina? What we, what we doing out uh, there? We, we, changed, we changed the game up a little bit. We started, a new, we started a new playground out there. What we doing? South Carolina, I started, I was still rapping. I was down, I was like focused on rapping. So I'm this dropping, time you transitioning fully into yeah, it? Yeah, I'm dropping music. I'm okay. going to all the studios out there. I'm going to the DJs. Uh, one of my homies, Long Live E, he was paying for me to do shows. Mm. Like uh, summer fests right. and Hot 97 jams right. and uh, festivals and shit all in North Carolina. I was doing all of them. Like, I've been on stage with 30,000, 60,000 people. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? That's like, a blessing right there, man. Yeah, Especially man. from where you just came from. Right. And being able to, what, you like, what, 22 around this time? Around this time, I'm like 22, 23. you on stages, rocking stages? So Come people on. looking at me like, damn, bro, you motivating us. You doing this shit. Right. You taking this shit serious. You really doing this. So I was doing that. And then uh, my old ways creep up. He's going to let you be. It's <laughs> like, God damn, I don't got to wait for that shit. So I, I start playing the streets again, doing things and shit like that. But this time we're moving smart. I'm though, still right? moving smart though. I ain't really right. get jammed up and shit like that. But I was like playing in the streets, dibbling, dabbling, dibbling, dabbling. But right. I really was on some like feeling like I was in college. I was feel like I was getting my college experience. Mm, okay. See what I'm saying? Like, um, I was close to where one of their colleges, Coastal Carolina. I was I was close to that. So I would go over there and chill with the college students. Like I'm in okay. college. Right. I go to their parties, their bars. You know what I mean? I know couple people that's in like fraternities they would okay. get me they would sleep me in you feel Come me on, yeah. and all the parties so I'm like damn this what this shit like like right if I would've do that I would've went to college I would've went to college <laughs> you know right. what I mean it was so many hoes and shit right. like, that. like I was like really enjoying myself out there I, I enjoyed myself and then it got burnt out right that's where Atlanta comes in so you got burned out from doing all that in the college doing the shows and everything so shit boom let me ask this though before we before we hit to Atlanta. When you was out there, did you meet celebrities and everything like that too? Are you rocking these crowds? You run into some people yet? Or um, anything? While I was out there in South Carolina, um, I was being artists, but I wasn't being no big artists. Like I've been on stages with the big artists. Right. Like um well, I figured that. I'm like, for you being on the stage, the first person people, yeah. I opened up for was it was Lucci. That's when Lucci just popped up. Okay. No, no, no. I'm lying. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. He dropped that. Uh, what is that? We'll take off them on it. He dropped that Summer Hill album. Okay, got gotcha. you. Yeah, with yeah, that go crazy yeah, in the intro, yeah. he dropped that shit. Okay. That's when that came out. You feel me? I had opened up for him and shit like that. Okay. Um, How you feel about opening up for Lucci though? Shit, at that point in time, I'm like, damn. Yeah, that's what I'm going say, man. Come on, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie. Like, at that time, because I was still young as hell. Like, right. I'm, like, you know, like, in the festivals, you know, the stage is outside. So, like, right. he walking through the backstage, so I'm like, damn, I'm right here. So, 
in my mind, I'm like, nigga, this how close you is to making it. Come that nigga on. standing right, right there. there nigga, you mean, right there, nigga. You right here. You doing the right shit. Like, in my mind, I'm like, I'm doing the right shit. I'm right here. Like, this a nigga that's on it. He's right here in front of me. You see what right. I'm saying? Like, hell yeah. And then um, the next time I did a fest, it was uh, this one. The baby popped off. Okay. You feel me? Right, you know he coming out of Carolina, It was the too. baby. Um, baby. It was it was the baby, uh, Stunner Folk Vegas. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Lil Boosie was mm-hmm. there. Jaquees was there. Okay. And it was somebody else I can't remember. So I'm like, damn. Yeah. So you like, like running into niggas. So right. you like, like Yo, you rocking shit. the same stage they on. Right. Okay. I'm All like, right. Damn. I'm like, oh shit. Like, okay, this shit could get real. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Like, this shit could really, you know what I mean? Go. To I got move. people from my city hearing me. I like, damn, bro. Like. Doing this shit, like right. you putting on for us, like I'm like, yeah, of course. Got to be a good feeling. Yeah, it, was Gotta a, go. it was a good feeling around that time. Hell yeah, like. all right. So boom, rocked out in the, in, in, in Carolina. Right. Shit started Shout getting a little. Them. Yeah, shit started getting a little boring. So you was like, all right, let me see it to Atlanta. Right. What made so, you come, What made you choose Atlanta from Carolina? Like at this point, you could have went anywhere. You could hit Florida. You could have hit uh, Louisiana. You could hit Texas. Why I left? Just gotta, I just Atlanta gotta, was already the first stop. Right. I was never supposed to go to South Carolina, but I wasn't like ready for that yet. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was up. already the plan off the dribble, like go to Atlanta. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I had like, I had homies and stuff out here, like, man, come to the A, bro. Come right. Come to the A, come to the A, bro. Like, good, come to the A. Good. You know, I, I wasn't ready yet. Gotcha. I mean, I wasn't ready yet. I made my said, way here. Then you said you got here and everything. So well, walk me through that. Then you get to Atlanta. What were you doing now? I get to Atlanta and now it's like, okay, I'm trying to do the music shit. I'm trying to find studios. I'm trying to do all that kind of shit. Right. And it's working. I'm doing my thing. I'm still shooting music videos. Um, but just coming here and trying to get stable, get myself stable, like, my house and stuff like that. Right. Um, I, at first, I was staying in the hotel. I stayed in the hotel for six months. Okay. See what I'm saying? And right. That shit made me hungry. That shit gave me a different hunger. Mm. You feel me? And that's like after I'm done saying this, that's something I want to speak about on the land. Like, come on. But um, like that shit gave me that shit gave me a different type of hunger. Like that shit like made me like nigga like everything that I did was accounted for. Everything that I did had to be accurate. Precise, like I had right. to really plan my steps because one one wrong move, one splurge the wrong way, I gotta head back that way where I know I got family at. Right, you know what I mean? Where right. I got, you know what I mean? So that was a big thing. But one thing I do want to say that I that I was gonna say is when people move to Atlanta, this shit this shit will make you or break, break you. you. Yeah, it ain't no it ain't no in between. Right, you see what I'm saying? If you survive that break. You gonna be okay. Come on. I feel like it break everybody that moved here a lot. Right. Because as we all know, you come outside in Atlanta, as soon as you walk out that door, you bite us a hundred dollars. We all know that. <laughs> right. We all know that. As soon as you step out of there, ting ting. Pockets hurt. You gotta pay for gas, uh, uh, parking, right. all that, bottles, drinks, like this. this, this yeah. yeah. This shit right. will break. So you, so it build a different type of hunger in you and everything, mm-hmm. and that's off record, like. I, I ain't know you that long, but I know you long enough to see like definitely a big difference, even from the short time that I known you to where you at now. Uh, you now seen I mean, it? Yeah, <laughs> but exactly. Yeah, I, when I tell you when I, when I ran up to you, I said, "Bro, I see you." But I had to congratulate oh, it, man, because like, at the end of the day, though, I want to say this on camera, though, is the fact of the matter. I, I I seen that hustle in you, bro, from day one and everything, and I seen you grow to where you at, dog. And I told you then, bro, I don't got nothing but salutes for you, bro. Salute, man. Keep moving, bro. You know you got my support, regardless. Oh. You know what I mean, so. Now we here, we in Atlanta. You, you got your home, you doing your thing. So where we at now, man? What we what we doing right now in life? Um, right now. Then we gonna go back to the that last case. Okay. Um, right now, um, I got an album coming soon. Okay. You got a name? Yeah. Or we working on a name? Fuck everybody too. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, Talk um, to me about it. Give me a little bit. What's this project about? Um, this project is just me. Like I, I like man. Okay. Like you know what I mean? Like. I'm letting the people know, like, you said fuck me, and now I'm saying fuck you. Right, well, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's really what's going on on the album, like. But I'm giving you, I'm giving them all different kind of feels. I'm okay. giving them trap vibes. I got things for the ladies on there. Okay. Like, 
ladies that supposed to be here and they not here. Like uh, a lot of my dogs that went sideways. I got shit. I got all kinds of stories. You been through a lot. I've been through a lot. I got a lot of stories on this one. Okay. Um, this 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 gonna be a crazy project. I got uh, a couple video shoots coming up. Okay. So so one let let let's go to the um, to the music though, right? So would you would you drop this album? Do we got a, a a time date or for that album or album release date for it? Or right now you still working on that part? Um, the album done. Okay. Honestly, ready. The album's done. Okay. No, I mean I'm working on a whole other album right now. I feel you. <laughs> I'm on the future already. Yeah, the album. By the time y'all get it, I'll be done with the next one. <laughs> yeah, that's how I like to do my work. Okay, man, that's the, respect. The, the album's done, and um, I'm really just. Way in like now, like I'm doing, I'm trying to do my stuff, my interviews, and, right? Like, build up to it, build up to the album. Got you, but it's coming within the next month for sure. Okay, what what we lead the what's the lead the single? You got a lead the single for that one? Uh, right now. And is it out yet? Nah, the single's not out. But it's the coming. Single's okay. not out. It's about to come out. Okay, you're about to get a video for that. Okay, it's called Sweet Sixteen. Mmm, give me a little bit about it. Why we go Sweet Sixteen? It's just a Sweet Sixteen. It's a sweet 16 bars for you. Okay. That's oh, why I oh got you. I get it. Get it. It's a sweet 16. Okay. So, what we, I mean, that's what we do. Is that off the dome or we written that down? How we doing? Um, I don't write. Oh, so it was straight off the dome. Yeah. 16 off the dome. 16 off the dome. I don't write. Can't wait for that one. I haven't, I, 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 I haven't wrote a rap since. Man. But I, so, you just now going yeah, to like, I'm so like good with it now. Like, it's no, like, I don't need to write. I just hear the beat. Boom, give me like five minutes, ten and minutes, you and, I, and I'm ready. Okay, so let's go back to our, one of the questions that we asked on the show. So when you're in the studio, what you need to come up with that fire track? You need, some people ask, say they need the blunt, some people need some holes in there, shaking their ass. What you need in the studio to come up with that hit? Um, for me to come up with a hit in the studio is like, shit, I just hit, I, I ain't gonna lie, I, I bring my little bottle of water, Okay. My little black of my, I throw them earphones on and I do my little bop. Okay. I got a little bop that I do. Uh oh. Okay. My my homies. We get it. We get get it a little bit for the camera. <laughs> you know we gotta put you on the spot. Get a little bop. Like, I just get the. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know and then it, and it's over with. And it's over. Okay. My homies know I get the that foot get the move in and. Now you you now you feeling it. So it's I'm over with once you start I'm, feeling it. Yeah. Okay. Once, once I start. There it is, boy. I'm going crazy. So the Sweet 16, is that one of the ones you're going to shoot a video for? Yeah, that's a video coming. Okay, so we working on that one. It's, it's on the way. You already shot the video. Where we at at this oh, point? Nah, the, video, the video getting shot next week. Okay. The video getting shot next week. Okay. Y'all better be to check to tapping in. You don't know. I might pop up in the video. You don't, You never this, this, know. It's going to be the one, right? You never gonna, know. It's going to be the one. Well, so I'm, I'm excited about it, man. Sweet 16. Yeah, I know you said you said you had four videos you're going to drop for this one, right? Yeah. So you got names for the other ones you're going to drop? Uh, I know you said the album done. I got I got, I got, I got the Sweet 16 coming. Okay. I got something called Break, uh, Break a Bowl. Okay. Um, got my partner on there. Okay. Uh, I got something called Bunny. Okay. It's called Bunny. Bunny is, Bunny is crazy. That's crazy? Bunny is crazy. And I got a song, uh, another video coming. It's called Bay. Okay. Bay is crazy. That's for that sounds like it's for the ladies. That's for the ladies. Yeah. Okay. It's like a club. It's a club joint. Okay. Club All right. It's gonna turn them up. I can't wait for it's this to drop, bro. I can't wait for it to drop. I know this shit about to be good. If there was one song. One song or video that you got out already that you want the people to tap into, what would that be, and why? Um. Uh, I would say okay on my on my last EP that I put out, Cost Like Old Dog. Y'all go get that everywhere. Okay. Apple Music. Come um, on. It's called Lead the Way. Lead the Way. Like Lead the Way. And lead the way is more. It's, a, it's like um, it's just like uh, one of the first songs I did when I got out, and I'm just speaking to people. They like, like that was asking me questions like, "Cost where you been?" Right. You know what I mean? I, I told everybody where I've been, what I was doing. Um, I'm trying to and, and lead the way is like 
I'm the one leading the way, and mm. people looking at me to lead the way, but I'm lost. Mm, come on, you see what I'm saying? That's real and shit. I'm letting them know. I'm letting them know. Like I know y'all want y'all looking at me to lead the way, but I'm lost. Right. You feel me? I've been. I'm. I'm trying to find my way too. And I know, like, y'all following behind me. Right. Y'all think I know the way. That's what I'm telling them in the song. Like, y'all think I know the way. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out too. I'm lost. I'm trying to find a way too. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Like. That shit hard. Y'all make sure y'all go tap in and lead the way, man. It's out right now. That's on everything, right? Everything. That's on everything. You can find so it everywhere. No matter where it is. Man. And make sure y'all follow my boy, man. Follow him. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channels and in the Apple Music, the Spotify, and all that, man. We got dope tracks out already right now. Right. All right, so now we got to get to the case, man. We got to get uh-huh. to the case, man. I'm going I'm to let you talk about it. So how, 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 that all, how it all started. I mean, like, case happened because, shit, yeah, like, me and my, a few of my partners, uh, we was going to a funeral for one of my partners, close family from the uh, okay. KSPB, and, um, uh, somebody that I don't know, I don't know this, I don't know the individual, the okay. victim, I don't know him, um, he approached one of my friends in like a very wild, aggressive, disrespectful manner. And I'm watching it take place kind of like, I'm kind of watching it take place. Right. And uh, I'm like, nah, fuck that. You know what I mean? Like I see dude, he got it on him and shit like that. Right. And I, and I know my partner don't got it on him. So, so you I'm, already peeped the scene. I'm peeping the scene, so I'm like, fuck it. Like I jump out. You know what's up, bro? Like, Chill out. Right. You know what I mean? Like, we take care of this shit another time. We got some shit to do. Like, and who wasn't trying to hear that? Mm. You know what I mean? He was just getting more aggressive, more loud, more aggressive, more loud. Being a tough guy. Being a tough guy. And then I'm just telling dude, like, hey, man, just go back to your car, man. Go right. Back, go back to your car. Like, so in the midst of all that happening, um, me and another one of my friends was standing in the back of the car. Mm-hmm. Like, we had a gas pump, in case we be, but we standing at the back of the car, and my partner that he was first yelling at, yelling at, the most with. he like, yo, come on, we get back in the car, we out. I'm like, all right, we out. I'm telling my other one, come on, we out. So as I'm going around the side of the car, like, to, to, to get in the car, I hear him. I hear him talking. I still hear him talking. Like he like, man, y'all little niggas think this shit a game. I like, nigga, fuck you. Right. Like, we going to get in the car, and I don't know. Like, I don't know if it was God. I don't know if it was. I don't know what the fuck it was, but a motherfucker might think I'm crazy. But I heard something say, "Turn around." Mm. Like when I turned around, that motherfucker had that bitch on the nigga. You feel me? So I'm like, oh shit! Like when I said, oh real. shit, yeah. everybody just. He just started letting off everybody broke. You know what I mean? He ended up hitting me in the legs, whatever the case may be. Um, I returned fire. My partner returned fire, whatever the case may be. Um, at this time, I'm still shot, though. Like, and, shit, I just felt like it is what it is at this point. Like, right. I, I ain't got I might as well go all the way with the shit. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Bro shot me so. At the end of the day, I end up, I end up walking him down. Like, you know what I mean? It ain't no secret. They, they right. know. Like, you know it's man? out there already. Yeah, it's already out there. Yeah. Like, they can look it up. Right. Um, end up walking him down and shit, whatever the case may be. But at that time, I ain't know he was dead. I ain't know he was deceased. Right. You know what I mean? You I, just I, did what you had to do to just just make sure you make out of there. Yeah, make sure me and mine make it out of there. Right. You know what I mean? And then um, they can leave the scene. You know what I'm saying? And get the fuck up out of there. At that point, my vehicle being shot up. Mm. We like, damn, bro, what the fuck, like, what the fuck just happened type right. shit, like, you know what I mean, like, and then, we just kept riding, like, we, so you ain't go to the hospital, man, you got your whole leg shot up, bro, what, what? I, 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 like, it was like, in and out type of thing, I patched myself up, like, I, I get patched up and shit, and, um, we just continued to what we was gonna do already, like, we was on some shit, like, yo, we finna, Continue going. Uh, he's on our way to a funeral. He's continue to go on the funeral. Like, that's what it is. With this shit, we get back. Damn. So he went to a funeral, leg shot up, and everything. Yeah, I was shot up. Car shot up. Everything shot up, bro. Just so my. Y'all went to the funeral with the car that was shot up. With the car that was shot up. 
Damn, that's and crazy. The, the thing about that is, um, right after we leave the funeral, the police blessed us. Damn, they caught y'all at the funeral? Yeah, in, in Chicago. Damn, so, so pretty much, so my, my question is, did they, did they come to y'all because somebody said some shit already? Or uh, what made them come to the funeral? Because y'all already left the scene where uh, everything happened. Uh, the car. The car, oh, so they seen So, them. if people don't know, Georgia got some special technology shit. Especially Gwinnett. I wouldn't fuck with them. I'm letting y'all know now they can follow your ass through these cameras from here all the way to where the fuck you're going. Like, your ass, mm. they can follow you. Like, in my paperwork, you can see pictures of them. Like, every time you went through some shit, like, I told them, got them. Like, that, that's so them. They were following us through that way, but they wasn't on our ass. They couldn't keep up with us. Right. They lost us at some point during the, during the shit, but they ended up picking back up on us in Chicago. Damn. They follow y'all from Georgia to Chicago? Uh, they sent uh, Chicago PD. They blitzed us. That was like 200 cops. No exaggeration. Damn, bro. Guns drawn. I mean, they came from every way. They got you in a whole other state. Damn, that's crazy, bro. Right. I didn't even know it was like and that. Then, um, uh, they, uh, they ended up taking us down, all down to the station, all of us. I was uh, in the vehicle at the time. They take us all down to the station and shit. And at that point, we know how this shit go. Right. Now we right gonna up. find out who's real niggas and who's not real. Right. We gonna find out the who's and the who's in this moment. Right, because somebody either gonna say some shit or everybody and, gonna stand uh, solid. During that process, I found out the who's was who's. Oh, damn. So we, you know had, we had somebody run their mouth. Uh, multiple people. And multiple it wasn't just people. one, it was a couple? Multiple, multiple people ran their mouth. Even so, I gotta get into that though, cause that's crazy. So, so I, I, and, I, and I like talk to me. And this some real shit. Like I know it might sound crazy coming from a street nigga, but even though them niggas ran their mouths, in the long run it kind of helped. Mm. It helped my defense in the long run. Well, I mean, but they still not, know what they did. Right. But it helped my defense in the long run. Okay. All right. Cause I was just gonna get into that, man. Like for one, as being a street nigga that you is, bro. And the fact that matter had to deal with something like that, that cause, you know, Thug, Thug just got let out from his situation and everything. So, how did that make you feel? And knowing that you know these, the niggas that you all all in this situation with start running their mouth, some of y'all got jammed up. Um, like I mean, while while it was happening, like I mean, it, it was clear to me. Like I knew it was up. Like I've been this is not my first time being in like interrogation and shit like that. So. I kind of already knew it was up because the room that they put me in was right there by the interview room. So they let me watch niggas go in that motherfucker. And every time they came out, they would come to my door smiling and shit. Like, so I already knew they knew something. They knew, I knew I wasn't going home. Right. You feel me? At that point, I knew, like, I'm like, yo, all right, this person went in the interview room. They just, I was like, he just went out the door. He just went home. This nigga just went in the interview room. He came out. He went home. Mm. I'm like, damn shit, maybe if he call me next, then I'm going home, going home too. Home. Yeah. If he don't call me next, then I know. Shit ain't, shit ain't he never call up. me next. Like, mm. So I was like, okay, I know what the fuck going on. You know what I mean? When I get in there, shit, I don't, hey, speak to speak my lawyer. Oh, yeah, right. Ain't nothing else to talk about. And then my other partner, which is Tommy Tay, he also ran um, at the time. Um, he kept his mouth closed too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He kept his mouth real solid. He kept his mouth closed. After that shit, they sent us off to Cook County. Damn. The worst counties Cook? ever. Damn. Uh, yeah. Vicious. That's crazy. So, so you got sent off. At some point, we beat the, beat the situation. Right. Walk me to that. How we uh, how we get to a point of we actually they actually saying all right, man? Because you we already got some people that don't don't told on you in the situation. You are you already ain't going home. How we get to a point of being able to get free from it? Okay, so how I get free is because, okay, well, with dump selling and all that shit, it it was coinciding with what our lawyers were saying. Basically, it was a self-defense situation. Right. You see what I'm saying? But he shot me off the dribble. Right. And I was really just playing peacemaker at the time. Right. He shot, they, he shot me off the dribble. So you, you got so to So I'm yourself. defending myself right. off the, off the off the bat and um 
that's the same way with like with my partner like it's self defense because it's called third party. It's like a third party self defense. They got like um he basically they look at it like, Well I'm defending him and he defending me. Right. Because defend he's shooting at all of us. Right. He's shooting at a crowd of all of us. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cause he the one who drew first. Right. And then what saved me from and I'm a felon, so what saved me from getting like just going out completely bad, getting smoked is in 2014, they passed a new law, which is a felon could possess a firearm during a self-defense situation, like, but you can't have it before it happens or after. after it. Okay. So, like, if a nigga just bust through the door and just start blazing at us and it's a fire over there and I grab that shit and handle that, that business, you good. You right. good. Everybody got a right to defend themselves. So that's one good thing I can say. Okay, that's, that's something new, bro. He just put y'all on game. Y'all ain't know that. Yeah, you ain't know that. Now yeah, you, you know. a felony. You got to defend yourself. Defend yourself. But just don't say you had the gun before then, bro. Yeah, don't, don't, say you had don't say you had it before nah. or after. after. Yeah, yeah. I did what I had to do, and I threw that bitch. I don't know where that <laughs> shit went. I did my business, though. No, you know what I'm talking about? And, um, and then it was like, uh, they, like, the victim, they, like, he had a friend with him, and his friend ended up coming out saying that he was already riding around looking for my partner, or whatever the case may be. So mm. that helped the defense, and it didn't it didn't help him that he had two clips, two extra clips in his pocket, all the type mm. of ammo. Awesome. He, he looked like he was ready to come. Yeah, see he shit came up. there for that. Okay, you know, so so all evidence points that like, you just defending yourself, right? Okay, it was a self defense situation. You feel me? Like that's really how I need to get up out of that shit, but. I mean, I ain't got that shit scot free. You feel right. Me? They gave me I mean, ten years of probation for that fire. You see just having it, right? Yeah, gotcha. That fire, they give me ten years of probation. Um, but uh, we gonna overall, get those though. It better I mean, be. Overall, it better be out than be in. So right. You feel me? I I, I took it. Right. You know I mean, I took it on the chin. Fuck it. Like, right. You know I mean, my partner, he left with no charges because he ain't had a. He wasn't a felon. He had a record, so right. he was in a clear self defense situation. So, gotcha. You know what I, I mean. All right, so with that being said, man, we're going to beat the case and everything. We got music coming and everything. Let's get into a couple more questions. So how is life for you now, bro? What uh, life like right now, man? You see it. <laughs> I, know, I, I know I see it, bro. Like I said, but I just, for the people that don't see it, man, how uh, life for you is right now, man? Life's good. Money's good. Right. You know, like, I can't complain. I ain't complaining about shit. Like, you know what I mean? Especially the situation from... Last year, not knowing if I was gonna ever go home to right. I'm here now, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, bro. You know I mean, that shit still be unbelievable. unbelievable. That shit fuck with you sometimes at night? I'm just asking. No, that's cap. When they tell you that shit, they, them niggas is lying. Shit do I'm not gonna say they lying because everybody is different. different right. I mean, I, I made peace with God about this shit. Right. You know what I mean? So I sleep like a motherfucking baby. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't. I don't have no dreams. I don't have none of that. Okay. that shit these niggas be talking about. Okay, I was just asking, you know, some people go through a whole bunch of trauma and shit, so I was just making sure. Nah, it ain't no trauma. Nah, I'm gonna say, I'm out here, I'm still doing toes, what I gotta do. Ten toes in every situation, like, you know what I mean? We good. Salute to that, salute to that, man. So, a couple more questions, bro. So, with, with you now making music, well, not now making music, you was already doing that, uh-huh. but now, now with you more focused into your music and everything, Who's some artists you want to work with, man? Some people that you haven't worked with right now. Who's some artists? Give me a couple. Damn, man. Free Smirk. <laughs> okay. Free Smirk. Free my nigga Smirk, man. Um, definitely Smirk. I definitely always wanted to work with Smirk. Okay. I'm going to let my nigga Vaughn. I always wanted to work with Vaughn. I never yeah. got a chance to do that. Um, I, I got to work with my nigga Future. Okay. Got to. That's just okay. damn near mandatory. Yeah, I hey man, um, you, you about just round the corner from that though, for real, for real. Uh, That's an orange reach for you. Um, uh, definitely. Um, damn. I wanted to work with my nigga Meek. Okay. Sure. I definitely got a. That's an up top thing. Got to. Okay. Meek Mill. Meek Mill. Okay. Always. You feel me? That been one of that my. That shit go rappers. crazy though. Y'all um, will go crazy on the track, for real, for real. Thanks. Even though he don't rap no more, 50 Cent. 
50? 50 was my favorite rapper of my whole life. Like, I would have never respected that, 50, bro. Like, for real, for real, I would have never respected that. Real shit, 50? Like, like, 50. Like, you couldn't tell me nothing. Like, so, I'm, I got, I'm going to throw, I ain't never asked this question, but I'm going to throw a monkey wrench at you, bro. So, you know, 50 do all kinds of things. You know, you got some views for the ladies, you got some street shit, you know what I mean? Talk to you and some shit. What kind of record would you want to do with 50? That what I want to know. Like, what, what type of record do you want? Uh, if, you, if 50 said, look, I'm going to jump on the track, but I'm going to let you narrate this track. What kind of track do you get? We talking about some money. Are we talking, we, we going, going, we going to the money? Yeah, we going to okay. pop that money shit. We going okay. to pop, we gonna that, pop shit. that shit. Okay. We going to pop a couple bottles. Okay. We going to keep it like that, like some club shit. Like okay, some, so some, you trying to you trying to get a club record. Motivate the hustlers and shit. Okay. Like, I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at like it. That. That's, that's, that's the way I would go. Like. Definitely. Like. Definitely. We think gonna, fifty, you think money, you. right? You feel that, me? That, that, that's all yeah, that niggas know, bro. When they think cars, I want them to think money. Okay, you know salute to that. Hell salute yeah. to that, man. All right, so hot seat question, bro. I'm gonna heat the seat up for you, right? Heat it up, quick, man. Right? Yeah, heat it up. And, and I ain't taking no bullshit answer <laughs> at all, bro. I'm not taking no bullshit up, answers. Man. All right, all right. So the people want to know, bro, who's your celebrity crush? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, straight like that, bro. Yeah, cause, cause y'all gangsters be getting on here like, man, I ain't ready for to talk about that shit. No, we want to know. Uh, I really got two. Two? Okay, come on. Let's be real with me. What we do? Uh, the first one is that Jamaican girl, Shin 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 Sayers, something like that. Okay. But she a singer and um, uh, Riri. Oh, come on. Gotta have Riri. I feel you on that. Gotta have Riri. No. Okay. And um Definitely would take Lotto down. Come on. Come Got on. To. That's Clayco right there, Got man. To. I'm sorry. I ain't mad at you for that. Got to. That's the outside time. finest. <laughs> I ain't mad at you for that one, bro. All right, bro. So I ain't gonna keep you too much longer. I just had a, I had to fuck with you on some crazy questions real quick. Right. But before we get up out of here, man, tell everybody where to find and follow you at. You can follow me on Instagram, one cost underscore everything, every every platform, that's my name. Um, before I go, stop snitching. Right. Okay. Stop Don't that do that shit, shit man. Stop Let that, that shit, shit go. That shit's not cool. At all. That's you know not I mean? cool. Getting people fucked up out here in these streets, man. Oh, man. Real. Real shit. All right, man. appreciate you. And we go. We got what name on the album one more time about to come out? Oh, fuck everybody two on the way. Fuck, fuck everybody two on the way, man. Sweet sixteen. Sweet sixteen. Come on, bro. Y'all Sweet make sure y'all tap man. into that, man. That's coming real soon. We in the building, man. Rap analytics. Make sure y'all tap in, like, follow, subscribe, comment. Do all that, man. Let us know, man. Tell us how you feel about cars, man. And they're out here in these streets, man. Appreciate you for bringing me Man, it's all love, bro. You know it, bro. Appreciate you for bringing me Yeah, bro. We had to get the interview first. You feel me? I'm going to pop my shit, too. You definitely got the first one. Yeah, bro. I got to get my interview first, but y'all niggas got to wait. You feel me? Nah, bro. I'm just fucking with y'all, man. But salute, man. President of Worthy, man. Put that vote in for me. Rap analytics. We out. The end. Yeah.